Look. Take it easy now. All right, Billy the Kid, come out reaching. This time we got him. Why they always have to use your picture. Louder than a gunshot. Damn me, all right. You see more life in a lonely prairie at night. Become a ghost town. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a ghost town, all right. <laughs> Looks like I'm responsible. Yeah, that's a non reliant a swindle. I wonder who really did make Glamy a ghost town. Hey, you don't suppose that sneaking coyote was a ghost, do you? If he was, his gun isn't. Well, first, I guess we gotta be hitting the trail. Oh, Billy. I don't want to leave the army. It'd be kind of nice to settle down here and have the run of the town. I could become just as a peace in no time at all. And I'd vote for you, too. But Fuzzy, aren't you kind of forgetting that I'm responsible for making Laramie a ghost town? Maybe someone's been murdered. Well, as Justice of Peace, I find you're not guilty. Yeah, it's mighty nice of you, Mr. Justice. But I have an idea that that hombre knows that I'm Billy the Kid. And if he does, he'll be back with a marshal and a rope. Uh, I can't think of any more honest candidate for Justice of the Peace, though, Fuzzy, than you. <laughs> Thanks, Sal. Don't take it to heart. Let's go. on you men. That gold must be around here someplace, and I aim to find it. Everything else you do, always wrong. Hadn't been for you shooting old Frank Kincaid so soon, I'd know the exact spot of that gold. Well, I, I didn't where's, know. Where's where's Trigger? Said he was going to ride in town, search old man Kincaid's house for a map. There's no map. I turned that place upside down looking for one. Here comes Trigger now. What happened to you? Two strangers back in town. I tried to get rid of them, but one of them shot me. You recognize them? Never saw them before. Buck, take him in the cab and fix his hand. Roof, you three ride to Laramie. Get those two hombres. Get anybody who comes there. Remember, Laramie's got to stay a ghost town until we find that gold vein. Right, boss. There's nobody to get to Larmy. And that buckboard's heading right straight for town. Lady. 
What's your business in Larney? I live there. I'm Martha Kincaid. Kincaid, huh? Wait, Jenny. So they asked you why you were coming to Larry, huh? Yes, I don't understand. It seemed as if they didn't want us to go there. Fact is, ma'am, there's nothing to go to. What do you mean? Nobody lives there. Laramie's a ghost town. Ghost town? Mm-hmm. Sis, no wonder we couldn't get the stagecoach to bring us to Laramie. Well, that's right, Johnny. But Dad wrote and told us to come home. See, Johnny and I have been away at school. Oh, Dad wrote he discovered gold. Gold? Gold? Yes. He said we'd all be rich. Towns don't become ghost towns where gold is found. I've known a little log cabin to grow up into a big city where gold is. I think you and your brother better head back the way you came from, man. Go back? You mean you think something's happened to Dad? Maybe not. But after what's happened to us all today, it isn't healthy to go to Laramie. I'm going. And if anyone's hurt my dad, I'll... Good boy, Johnny. Now, what's good about it? Well... That's what any American boy would say, up and at him. Just like me when I was his age. Why, I remember the time that I captured 500 Indians single-handed. How many? At least five. <laughs> now, ma'am, you better take my advice. Thank you, but Johnny and I are both going to Laramie. I'm very grateful for what you've done. Me too. And when we see Dad, we'll tell him all about you. Won't we, sis? By the way, what's your name? My name's Andrews, Bill Andrews. That's fuzzy. Sure mighty glad to meet up with you. Well, goodbye. And again, thanks. Goodbye, ma'am. You know, I got a feeling those kids will never see their dad again. Yeah. Kind of dangerous for that gal and that boy being in a ghost town all alone. Night's coming on, too. Yeah. I feel just like a yellow-bellied worm running out on them. Don't you? Yeah. Now listen, don't you ever get tired of talking? And we got enough trouble with sheriffs and marshals trying to put a rope around our neck? Yeah? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Where? Laramie. You dope. So the Kincaid gal and her brother are back. And you let them get to Laramie. Well, two hombres butted in and we didn't have a chance. Must have been the same two that got me back in town. I don't care who it was. It's a long time to make Laramie a ghost town, and I don't mean to let anybody upset the apple cart. Wait a minute. Martha Kincaid and the boy are back. 
The old man must have sent for them. Maybe he told Martha where the gold is. Ruth, you and me and the boys are going to pay our respects tonight to the last of the Kincaids. I guess it has changed for you. No, no, Johnny. Let Fuzzy take those. Johnny, uh, can you uh, play that thing? No. But Dad plays. Yeah? How about you? Well, well folks used to call me Phil and Fuzzy, but I can even make that thing talk. Well. Wow. Less talk and more work, Mr. Paganini. <laughs> yeah, what you call professional jealousy, you mean. <laughs> Trigger and look around. I'll stay with the boys with the signal. Do you hear the same thing I do? Yeah, somebody playing a fiddle. Old Frank Kincaid. Oh, it can't be him. He's dead. Well, he played just like that same kind of music. Yeah, forget that. Dead people can't play a fiddle. I'm telling you, that's old man Kincaid, and it's coming out of that saloon. Well, we'll see. No trigger. Let's be it. You forget what the boss said? Frank 
King Cage. What murder and sloop but it maverick killed me. Well, unbutton your yellow liver tongues. <laughs> Not me, King Cage. I didn't do it. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm disgusted. There's no privacy in this ghost town. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. This place is surrounded by vultures. We've got to do something quick. I got an idea. Let's light the lamps. We saw old man Kincaid's ghost. Ghosts? Why, you blubber-headed fools. Where's the girl? Why, she, uh, she... Well, come on, answer me. Her and her brother left town with them two armies. Yeah, I reckon we scared them off. A fine mess. And the girl probably knows where the gold is. We gotta head them off. Now, you two stay here and keep watching in case they come back. And remember, this ain't no time to be celebrating. Come on. But to get their guns and throw them in jail. Now you're talking. More like it. He's putting somebody else in jail for a change. Yeah, <laughs> take care of him tomorrow morning. You heard it. After Fuzzy broke your dad's fiddle, I found this map inside. What does it mean? Well, didn't you say your dad discovered gold? Yes. I bet my bottom dollar that map will tell you where it is. Gosh, Dad must have put the map inside the fiddle. That's right. Miss Martha, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you. About Dad? Then, Dad? After what happened to Sloan a while ago, I'm inclined to think so. You see, those two hombres thought that Fuzzy's fiddle playing came from a ghost. The dad's ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Martha. <laughs> hey, what this town needs is a good sheriff like, uh, like, well, me. <laughs> now, I think if we held on a... Martha, if you're weak and about that fiddle, I, I, I just had to bust it. It's not that, Fuzzy. Mr. Andrews has just told me about Dad. Oh, uh, I'm uh, sorry. About this map, why should Dad want to hide it in the violin? Probably suspected someone tried to get a hold of it. He might even thought his life was in danger. The gold doesn't mean anything without Dad. That's where you're wrong, Miss Martha. Well, gold has killed many a man, but it's been the foundation for big cities. Cities that grew from small towns like Laramie. No, ma'am, you owe it to yourself and the men and women that were chased out of Laramie to make a fight of it. I will, Mr. Andrews. Me too. That's good. And tomorrow morning we'll take up where we left off tonight. The hanging tree outside of town. Good night, Miss Martha. Good night, Jim. Traveling all night and not a sight of the girl, her brother, or those two meddling fools. We're heading back to town. Something about the way Roof and Trigger were acting like that, I don't like. You 
You ready to talk? Yes. You can't scare us. Uh, you better be careful. You're going to swallow your bridge work. Now, for the last time, who's your boss? Who killed Frank and Kate? All right, then you'll hang. Your boss won't think enough of you to bury your hide. Say, you can't hang us without a trial. That's a good idea. I never thought of that. Fuzzy, I appoint you justice of the peace. We'll conduct the trial right out here, now. Justice of the peace? <laughs> well, try me for a mackerel. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye! The Open Air Army County Court is now in session. Justice for the Q. Jones presiding. Uh, Miss Martha, you and Johnny will be the jury. Two defendants won't confess to nothing. And since I want to get on with the hanging, I pronounce these two tadpoles guilty. How's the jury feel about that? Well, get on with the hanging. No, no, don't hang me. I'll tell, I'll tell you everything. That's My name is Dalton Sykes. I'm the sheriff of Laramie. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy. What goes on here? Well, you're just in time. Unless I miss my guess, these two coyotes are part of the gang that made Laramie a ghost town. What makes you think that? One of them was about to confess when you rode up. Is that so? Yeah. This one here is Billy the Kid. I recognize him right away. Yeah, and, and the other one is his horn-toed-looking partner. Billy the Kid, huh? So I've caught up with you at last. No, no, me and him, we were just... Shut up, or we'll hang the two of you right now. Stranger, this is a great day for Laramie. The folks who were forced to leave town on account of these murdering varmints will never forget you. We certainly won't. Howdy, ma'am. Why, if it ain't Miss Martha. And young Johnny Kincaid. Why, well, I'd have hardly recognized you. You've grown into mighty fine youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Sykes. I suppose you know about Dad. Yes, ma'am. Your father was my best friend. That's why I came back to Laramie. To get Billy the Kid and avenge the murder of Frank Kincaid. Joe, ride to Eagle Rock City and tell all the folks who left Laramie to come back. We'll be waiting their return so we can give Billy the Kid and his partner a legal hanging. Right now, we'll keep you two young murdering varmints in jail. Maybe you better give the sheriff a hand taking the men in. Yeah. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I'll take care of them. Uh, you got to be careful, Sheriff. We can't trust these two low down numbers. Come on, get moving. I'll see you later, Mr. Martin. I'm going fishing. Let me go with you, Mr. Andrews. I can make a swell fishing pole and tackle. Okay, Johnny. Maybe I can use you.
that I thought. Mr. Andrews, ain't Joe going to Eagle Rock City? No. But you're going on a little trip for me, Johnny. Well, I thought we were going fishing. We are. It's about time the fish we're after are caught. That Dalton Sykes, the man we're after, Johnny. This Joe and those other fellas in with him. Gosh. Well, why don't we get him and throw them all in jail? No proof. Besides the job for a man like a U.S. Marshal to handle legal like. That's where you come in. Now, I want you to take Bear Creek Trail and ride over to Twin Oaks Junction. There you'll find a marshal who's looking for Billy the Kid. Tell the marshal the kid will be waiting for him in Laramie. All right, fast, Johnny. Fish sometimes have the bad habit of swallowing their bait. Go on. Breaking in on your little fiesta. Doing a little prospecting? None of your business. Shouldn't you be on your way to Eagle Rock City? Never mind that. Get your hands up and head for that cabin. Martha, the day before your father was killed, he asked me to do him a favor. He said, Dalton, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to promise that you'll take care of my little girl and boy. Then it's true. What's true? What Mr. Andrews said. The dad suspected he was going to be killed. That's why he hid the map in the violin. Map? Yes, to a rich vein of gold. Oh, no wonder he wanted me to take care of you and your brother. Miss Martha, there are some vultures like Billy the Kid around here who wouldn't stop at murder to get that gold. I know. I suppose that's why Dad was killed. Yes, but you needn't worry now that I'm here. I mean, for you and your brother. Thank you. By the way, uh, where is the map? Mr. Andrews has it. Andrews, huh? May I take a look at it when he comes back? Of course. And while we're waiting for him, won't you come in the house for some tea? I don't mind if I do. How about you, gentlemen? Why, certainly they will. How about you, Fuzzy? Would you like some tea? Tea? <laughs> uh, doctor told me once that uh, tea is a little too strong for my kidneys. Oh, I'm sorry. Well. Come on. Tea. Why, that Monterey pup's only looking for that there gold. What's the tarnation's keeping Billy?
don't know what we're going to do, Trigger. We've got to get out of here. Oh, shut up. Look. Boys, just a cat. Yeah, just a cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Andrews is Billy the Kid. The boss will be interested to know that. I wonder what could have happened to my hat. I've already sent Johnny for the marshal. Marshal? Why, he'll nab us. Even pin this whole army business on us. And give Sykes a banquet to boot. But if we grab Sykes first, with plenty of evidence, uh, he knows about the map, wants to look at it. He does, huh? Where is he? Over at Miss Martha's house, waiting for you. Good. I got an idea. Come on to the saloon. Andrews. I thought I heard him riding in. Hey, Sykes! Come here quick. I got something to show you. It's important. I'm getting tired of Ruth. Go in and shut him up. Wait a minute. On second thought, I think I'll go in. He was going to confess things a while ago. Goes looking for the gold, he's going to find a big surprise. Let's go. Hey, Billy, he's got my hat. Give me that hat. Hello, Billy the Kid. Get their guns. What's the meaning of this, Sheriff? Mr. Andrews is a friend. Not Andrews. Just plain Billy the Kid. Murderer, thief, and backstabber. Miss Martha, there are things I can't explain. There's nothing to explain. I'll say there ain't. Now, where's that map belonging to Miss Martha? I'll hold this for you. A little too dangerous for you to be keeping it right now. Thank you. I'm sticking the two of you in jail. And if the people of Laramie don't come back by tomorrow, I'll hang the both of you without trial. Luke, you got the keys. Lock them up. Let those other men out. Come on. Well, here we go again. Come on. Come on. Hurry up and get us out of here. By the way, are you looking for this? Yeah, give me that. Oh. Here's your gunfire. What do we do now? We've got to explain things to Miss Martha first. All mixed up about us. Yeah, uh, there ain't a man alive. He explained himself out of trouble to a woman. Nothing like trying. Come on. What are you doing here? Now, wait a minute, Miss Martin. You've got to let me explain. It's true I'm Billy the Kid, and I'm wanted by more than one sheriff. And I'm here to help you. Sure, didn't we help you and Johnny when you first came here? I'd rather not discuss it. Now, see. Come a step closer and I'll shoot. 
Well, you see? A woman just wasn't made to listen. You seem to be very clever, Mr. Billy the Kid. Jails can't hold you. Oh, I've heard a great deal about you. Now I suppose you've killed the sheriff. No, ma'am, I wouldn't cheat Larry folks out of that pleasure. For your information, Miss Martha, that phony sheriff is out looking for the gold right now. Here's the real map. You've probably heard a lot about Billy the Kid. Most of the things you heard are wrong. Now, as soon as that fellow Sykes finds out he's on a wild goose chase, he'll be coming back looking for that map. What'll we do? Fuzzy and I could probably put up a fight, but then we might be destroying evidence valuable to the future of Laramie. Now, I think we'd better wait until, until Johnny comes back with the marshal. Johnny? But I thought he was fishing. <laughs> no, no. That's just our secret. I sent Johnny over to Twin Oaks Junction to fetch the marshal. But you two are placing yourselves open for arrest. <laughs> just no habit of ours, ma'am. <laughs> According to this map, the gold is right here where we're digging. Joe's gun. I wonder if he's... <laughs> Make a move, Billy, and you're a dead one. Nice work, son. You got the wrong one, mister. I could spot Billy the Kid anywhere. Billy the Kid? That's right, Jenny. But I sent for you, Marshal. You? Why? There's much time to explain. What I'm going to tell you is more important than Billy the Kid. Oh, is that so? Please, you must listen. All right, I'll listen. But it better be good. Bother me no more. Turn around. What? No trial, Sheriff? <laughs> Larmy's certainly going to the dog. You mean the coyotes? I said turn around. Billy? This is 
something I want to confess to you before I cash in my chips. Eh? Remember that silver-plated gun that you thought you lost? Yeah. And you didn't lose it. I stole it. What'd you do with it? You know, I swapped it even for a quart. I had it now. All right, let them have it. chance. You'll have to come and get me. All right, boys, take him out of here. Glad to see you kept your word. Yeah, I kept my word all right. I don't know why you didn't let him kill us. Would have saved the state a lot of trouble. Maybe he'd rather see us hang. I don't think so. In fact, Laramie and myself both owe you a vote of thanks. Vote of thanks. <laughs> you, you, you mean he ain't gonna arrest us? That's right. Thanks, Marshal. Uh, <clears throat> say, partner. What does a fellow have to do around here to uh, become a justice of peace? <laughs> and as I was saying, I promised the good people in there me a local government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And I. No use, Fuzzy. Politics isn't in your line. You ought to hit the trail with me. No, sir. I'm going to stay here and become Justice of Peace if it takes me 20 years. Yeah, 20 years is too long for me to wait. Yeah. Goodbye, Miss Martin. Goodbye, Billy. And thanks for everything. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Billy. Sorry to see you go. Oh, I'll be back someday. Someday in about 20 years when Fuzzy's elected Justice of the Peace. <laughs> <laughs> so long, Kenhart. If you good people of Laramie will elect me just the peace, I will promise to wear that badge of honor to... Call me a tin horn. I... Meeting's adjourned.